Beauty products have been around forever, but how long? How did it all start? For example, the red lip. What is the origin and history of one of beauty's most important products? I love this, take a look. The history of red lipstick can be traced back almost 5,000 years. Ancient Sumerians made the world's first lipstick out of crushed gemstones and white lead. Rumor has it that Egyptian pharaoh Cleopatra made hers from flowers, fish scales, and crushed ants. That gives a new meaning to all natural ingredients, doesn't it? Elizabeth I believed that a red lip had magical powers to heal and ward off danger, which is darkly ironic since most lipstick and makeups were made of poisonous lead. Flash forward to the early 20th century when a bold red lip was seen as shocking. In New York City, suffragettes took to the streets campaigning for the vote wearing a red lip to symbolize the new woman. In the 30s, Vogue declared lipstick the most important cosmetic for women, and sales skyrocketed. During World War II, a red lip became the symbol of patriotism and feminine resilience. The US government ordered war factory dressing rooms to be stocked with lipstick to boost female workers' efficiency and morale. That's my kind of government mandate. Today, the red lip is still seen as a symbol of power, sexiness, and feminine rebellion. As Coco Chanel once said, if you are sad, add more lipstick and attack. Well, that's a lot of history for a little mwah, mwah, mwah rouge on the lips. Okay, now what do you need to execute this iconic iconic <laughs> beauty look. Okay, it's really quite simple. You need a good lip liner, especially when you get a little older. That's right. It uh, really brings out your inner Riri or Marilyn. I didn't need lip liner when I was younger, but now I certainly do. And this lip liner is by Lip Bar. And this is a fantastic lip liner right here, like highly recommended. And so I'm gonna just do our lip liner real quick. And then I think one of the biggest and most important reds in the history of red lipstick is the MAC Russian Red. This is the one that Madonna made popular in the 90s and you could not get it. It was completely sold out everywhere. So I hold this as the benchmark to all red lipsticks. Now I'm gonna put on a Flower Beauty. This component is really cool because it's double-ended. Uh-huh. And this is called Red Velvet because it reminds me of cake. Uh-huh, thank you, Arturo. Mm-hmm. And what's really cool is the other component has a little lip gloss on the other side. It's funny, you know, when women put on a red lip, it like changes their demeanor, and some people call it the high heel of makeup. So if there's a little tool that you have that can change your demeanor and have a little light bulb in your face, then I say turn on the red light.